the hood, chains been stripped out, let the curse. I'm living in the sun. So, like a firebird, spread my wings to leave the earth. I fly and move on. Your strings, they burn us true. Pain comes to teach, I learn from you. The grief had to leave before I knew. Going to grid would make me new. I shot just a shoe, but now I'm smooth. Fine like a drink, I sing and soothe. Ooh, with the breeze, just free. our midday brain break we are coming and creating together what you're going to need is a pen or a pencil and a white piece of paper sketch pad we're drawing today so what we're going to be drawing uh, last time we drew a bottle so that was a few weeks back this week we're actually going to start getting into more curves again still have these parallel lines here but this is called a yucca plant so this is what we're going to be drawing today. Uh, and you guys can, uh, now I have this on display for you. So I'm going to show you how we're going to capture the lines and everything so that we can draw this whole plant and not um, you know, feel like we didn't, we didn't do it. So what we're going to do to start, if you remember last time when we were uh, drawing, we created a general sketch of what shapes were taking place. So we still see, I can bring this into full view. You can see everything. We still have a lot of parallel lines here. The, uh, the trunk of the yucca plant is here. Then you have the square action here with this plate and a rectangle shape here for the bottom that catches the water. So we're going to get in the process of still drawing shapes first and then draw, filling in the details along the way. So let's get to it. I'm going to start from the base. So I know that I'm going to create a, a rectangular shape here at the bottom. So I'm just going to draw that quickly. I'm not going to um, put too much time into what that shape looks like. It's just a brief sketch and I keep it pretty light, okay? Then, then we have a square, right? So we've got the square and then we have this here. So then there's like a little text, it says wild interiors. So I'm going to draw that on my side. So that's a small rectangle and a large rectangle. Okay. So again, nothing about dimensions, just coming up with the lines and the shapes that I see in the yucca plant. So then the next thing that I see is another rectangle. So there's another rectangle and this is the trunk of the yucca plant. Okay, so we're drawing that out here. And notice I'm not doing any dark lines. So dark lines are for the actual details and heavier impressions on the paper. So this just gives us a guideline of where everything's going. So the next thing, so we're gonna include some more curves, right? So if you look at the plant where the leaves start to shoot out, right? There's this curve action here on both. So putting it back to where it is, I'm gonna draw what I see and not what I think I see. So I'm gonna draw one circle, circles first, another one here, and then one at the top corner. So I have three circles as a base. So on my angle, there's one uh, trunk here, this here, as a little, um, it's where some leaves were starting to sprout. At this point, I think that they're 
They've decided that they're not going to come out right now. We'll see. Time will tell. Because there's like little green sprouts. Anyway, that's uh, what I'm going to draw. And that's it as far as those shapes. Now I'm going to draw little ovals. So I'm just going to do skinny ovals. Right? Skinny ovals. And just kind of make it up as the, the motion. Again, not drawing anything beyond what we see. And now, because I have that, I'm drawing those, there is one shoot behind. And you wouldn't be able to see that on your side. So I would just want you to focus on this shoot here and this shoot here, okay? So we're just drawing what we see. This is what it looks like. Right now, it doesn't look like anything, does it? Nope, it does not. So, the next thing that we're going to do, right, uh, we're going to start looking at the dimensions. So we see here that it's not just a square, you see that circle action here. So this is an oval. So now we're going to go back into our square area and we're going to draw, remember what we did last time, a little curve here to show the curve of the yucca plant, right? And this is becoming a little darker. And then I'm actually drawing just a tiny, a tiny curve where this, where the square was. So the square still is the line here, but now I'm creating just a little bit of an angle so you can get the illusion that this, this plant is in a pot. I'm not coloring anything in yet. We're just here creating that illusion. And now that we're already in this space, I'm going to start creating detail for the string, okay? So for the string, I'm really just making scribbles, I'm not doing anything else. There's no hard lines. Our brain fills in that it's some type of string. So when it comes to you sketching things well, it's actually um, allowing your, your, your brain to make up the information you don't have to be so literal with what you're drawing. So with your string, I'm just putting in some dots, some little squiggle lines here, and suddenly it's a tag. So now following this through, I see that there's a little hard angle here. So I'm going to go ahead and start to make that darker part. So we're here. Now we've got that darker side there. Okay. So, and at this point now, I start to just connect the shape. So if you guys want to make the screen larger so you can see the plant closer, so you can look at the tag, it's okay, it's totally fine. If you want to pause this video, that's why it's pre-recorded, so you guys can pause it, do whatever you need, slow down. But we're here, and this is your time for creating. Okay, so we're here. And I am just starting to sketch the wild interiors tag now. And the reason why I'm doing the wild interiors tag is because I'm going to start to gauge where the shadow is going to line up on this, on this pot, because the pot itself has maybe, it's not the most exact square shape. Right, it comes in a little bit and because it comes in a little bit we have the light catching mainly the tag but it leaves a shadow on the pot itself behind so the way that I make shadows with pen or with pencil is again it's very similar to me making the string I have a repeated motion and it's just me making these hash marks okay so these hash marks go in like this. Now suddenly it's a shadow. Okay, so now my tag has a shadow. I'm not going to worry about the text just yet. But 
there is um, some space here to worry about that later. Okay, so right now, I think we actually have our pot, but look at that, there's a shadow right here, right? You see that triangle there? So now I'm gonna draw a triangle. Now it's not gonna be as nearly as dark as the other. So for this, we're keeping it light, still doing those hash, to, hash markings, right? Still doing those hash markings. This is just where everything lies. And I'm even starting to draw the shadow into the base of the pot holder where it catches the water. Okay. So at this point, I'm starting to move in. I'm focusing on one side, just here on this one side, getting my basics all right, comfortable. And remember, we don't draw hard lines, hard straight lines. You see that to create a dimensional effect, it's got to curve a little bit. So with that straight line that we have with the rectangle, I'm now making slight curves and I'm bringing this in. Yep, just like that with the harder line. Still following that rectangle as my main guide. So if you remember what I said last time, we're drawing what we see and not necessarily what we think we see. When we start to draw what we think we see, the actual um, view of what we're drawing becomes, um, I would say, a little characterized or like cartoony. And so if we're trying to draw something and make it look realistic, we just draw what we see. Don't overthink it. Um, don't do much else. Just draw what you see, what you see. And so at this point, now we've got the base of the plant, right? Not gonna worry about any other details just yet. Just gonna focus right here on that movement. And that's it. Okay. So now we're going to start to move into this trunk of the yucca plant. Now, I, when I'm looking at this trunk, I almost see, you know, with these hash markings, these, they're squares, right? I'm going to just bring it closer to you guys. It's just a bunch of squares. So with that being said, I am now going to draw squares, just a bunch of squares. And they're on the big, they're on the larger side, so I would make them almost like bricks. And don't get too crazy about them. We're just we're just drawing as many squares as we can. And the way that I'm drawing the squares, it's almost like they have scales. So you know how on fish, it's a square that grows out, trees grow up, they don't go expand, they just grow up. So you can see that as the plant was growing, more um, plants grew on the inside and pushed the out coming in. So we're doing that. Okay. So we're just here. And I get to the top, towards the top, there's this black cap on it. So I think that this is when uh, whoever cut the plant off kind of put this cap on it so it wouldn't grow um, up anymore. So 
Um, we're just going to draw it and believe it. I think it's wax. I've got this black marking of wax here. It kind of takes the whole layer of the plant. And that's about it. And then we go here and it's down. So I'm starting to just color in the wax a little bit. And again, if you guys need to pause this, it's totally fine. Take screenshots. And um, this is how you start to draw your first yucca plant. So here's where I'm at so far. See that? We've got a ton of texture, just squares on squares on squares. And look, there's even the little circle there that's got this little nub here that was trying to create out. Not, still not even looking at the leaves, right? Because one of them is doing its own thing. This one here. This dude I call my diva leaf because no matter what I do, he just likes to be out on his own. Because he's, he's the tallest leaf. Anyway, I'll stop talking to you about my plans and just show you how to draw. So, now that we have this texture here, I'm going to bring it out. And when it comes to the actual plant on the sides, right? Because it goes all the way around. So I drew little, just little angles out, almost like little triangles. You guys see that? There's little triangles now. And now it gives me the idea that it's starting to go around the whole plant, right? So I'm going to do that now on the other side, I'm trying to line it up with the parts of the plant that I see are coming around, or parts of the square, I should say. Yep. So now it's on both sides. Look at that. All right. Now the next thing is that you see all of these different colors. So you see it's more brown, it's a little beige, brown, blah, 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 right? So this, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm just gonna start shading and doing some lines. So my dark section, and when I'm doing lines, it's just, it's just some lines here. So lines, straight diagonal lines. And I'm coming up, and this is light, not heavy. Just going, and I'm holding the pen like this, okay? So I'm just coming in and seeing where I have the dark spots, the darker spots, leaving the lighter spots alone, coming back in with where I see the darker sections are. And this is just how we're shading, okay? Right? We're shading, we're shading. And I see some little flecks here, so I'm gonna just draw those little lines, heavier, dark lines on the outside of the rim of the trunk. It looks like that, okay? So we're doing that. There's a little dark section here. I'm gonna just carry that in a little bit more. There's a little piece of a fleck that's coming off. And this is all through shading. I'm just creating space Okay, just creating space and creating more texture. That's really all it is, just creating texture. So now after a certain point, I've created this texture. I'm not gonna go the opposite way. The other reason why I do go the opposite way when I go to my hashes, it allows the, the image to look like it's actually three-dimensional. It brings in that curve, okay? So that's what it looks like there, it's coming down. So we've got things coming this way, things coming down, okay? So I'm doing that. Same thing. Okay, you guys dealing with this, with this, with your shading. How's your shading coming along? Now, one thing I will say is that if you feel like your squares are a little too big, 
go ahead and make little squares inside. So now I'm just creating, like there's a square and there's a little square inside. There's a square and there's another little square inside. And I'm just going in and almost like I'm drawing sevens actually. So I'm drawing little sevens in here to create more texture. So I'm just going in, drawing sevens, draw more sevens, maybe some reverse sevens, let's see. Yeah, I think I like that. All right. So we have these reverse sevens and these sevens in here, creating a more um, detailed plant, right? And now we have the trunk. So now it's suddenly the trunk of the plant, right? Isn't that cool? Now we have this plant. Now the next thing that we're going to start working on is the leaves. So we have 10 more minutes um, to see if we can figure this out. So um, if you notice, all of the leaves go from light to dark, light to dark, and then maybe it's the tips of some Trying to look here. Light to dark, you've got like some little gold tips. Not gonna worry about that action yet. We're gonna go focus on the light to the dark in our sketches. So remember I said we're drawing ovals now. So we're connecting these circles. So I'm drawing this line from the circle and it's going into the oval. And that's how we create that, sh that shoot of a leaf. So it comes out and that's, that's, that's one shoot. And then what I do, without even trying to connect the lines, I just draw a parallel line that comes back in. And don't bring it all the way into the circle because this is all just one sprout, right? So if we're, if we're painting flowers, we're just doing this action here. And if you notice, it comes out like a trunk. So it's like a pipe. So there's another line and I don't, Again, I'm not doing circles. I'm outlining the circle and how it connects to the trunk. So it's this line here, right? And then I shoot, and this is a heavier line, if you notice. This is a heavier line, and then it shoots out, and I come in. Shoot out, and come in. Shoot out, and come in. And now it looks a little bit like the plant, All right? Now I just have to draw this diva one that kind of does its own thing. That's it, that's it. So I'm going to draw some more, but if you notice, that's really the action here. We're just drawing lines out and bringing them back in. Not really thinking too heavily about it. We're just drawing lines in, bring it back in, drawing a line out, bring it back in. So now let's do this again for this top trunk here. So we've got this circle. I'm outlining the circle, getting to the, uh, getting to the oval, shooting out, coming back in on that oval. Shooting out, coming back in on the oval. Shooting out, coming back in on the oval. Again, and again, and now I'm here at that top where that outline is and shooting out, coming back in, shooting out, coming back in, shooting out. Mm -hmm. And suddenly we have a plant, okay? So you guys have a whole yucca plant now that you've drawn. Now, if you wanna take in and add some more color, you totally can. Um, I happen to have some markers, so I'm gonna grab those. Oh, this is a picture of me. Um, with Tori Kelly and my cousin, so I'm moving that out the way. Um, I don't really know her, but it was a, it was fun. We went to the concert, so. Oh, um, so we have some markers. I love sharpie markers, but I think I want to use a highlighter and a pen, a sharpie marker, and let's see if I have anything else. These are all the colors that I have. 
I'm going to start with this Sharpie. So it's a dark green. It's going to help. Use the, just a little bit. You can if you want to. You also don't have to. I thought, why not? It's here. I'm not doing much with it. It looks like the pen's kind of dry, actually. So I actually might have messed it up a little bit. Let's see. There's another marker here that's green. It's got this kind of soft point. Okay. Oh, it's not bad, actually. Mm-hmm. It's not bad at all, I'd say. And just to keep with the line action, I'm just going to just keep drawing lines. So allow this to be that there. You got the function. You got, yep. Oh, and I almost forgot we have this inscription that says wild. So let's just do that, shall we? Now we've got plant with a tag. And if you want to add more color, that's fine by me. Here's a gold one I'm going to use just for some little points. I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to do dots with this because gold is pretty heavy. Maybe some lines too. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anything else? It's probably a little too dark, let's see. Yeah, that looks like I like that. I took a Sharpie and I went to the side and started coloring it in. Because when you have the colored Sharpies, you think that it's gonna be like a really heavy color, but really it's not. Especially this, this is a bronze metallic Sharpie. So. There it is. Now we've got our yucca plant. All right, you guys. So that was Come Create with Namara. I hope to see you next week. Tune in. We'll be stretching on Monday and creating on Thursday.